Okay guys, I'm back with another video uh, for my F-15C guys uh, and more specifically my guys in the 122nd. I've kind of noticed a trend with guys firing back-to-back -back missiles at the same aircraft. So the purpose of this video will to show you how to fire successive mission missiles at multiple targets uh, the correct way as opposed to uh, firing multiple missiles at the same bandit. Now why is this important? In the F-15C we're limited obviously. We only have eight missile racks, at least the uh, the regular C, not the the EX. We've only got eight missiles that we can have. We have to make every missile count. So firing multiple missiles at different target is fine. It's A-OK. -okay. But when you fire multiple missiles at the same target, essentially you're wasting a missile. And you're wasting a missile, essentially the second missile you fire in back-to-back -back, uh, rapid succession, you're wasting a missile because if the first missile is going to hit the aircraft, then it's going to do what it needs to do to damage or destroy the aircraft. If the bandit also is able to evade the first missile, it's very likely that it's going to be able to evade the second missile. So why fire the second missile? It's just a waste of a shot. And with this video, I'm going to demonstrate both the correct way to fire as well as the incorrect way to fire. So, coming up now, I've got a bandit here. He's coming up on 28 miles, and I've got another bandit coming up on 40 miles. I'll we'll go ahead and get our airspeed up. We are not slick. Let's get rid of these fuel tanks. So, I've got two bandit, and I've got two of the bandits locked. And my first missile is going to go to the first bandit, and the second is going to go to the sandit. The second, and we'll just display that now. First bandit's now 19 miles. I'm Fox three times two. One, and then there's two. Both those missiles are coming off my aircraft at roughly Mach 1. Point, uh, Mach 1.2. Both those missiles were coming off at about 1,000, uh, 35,000 feet. So those are both very dangerous missiles. He is defending aggressively as he should. He's in deep trouble though. Wait a little bit too long, I believe. Got him. So that's one down. And we should be getting a splash for the second one here in a little bit. Okay, so next, how not to. Yeah, this guy's in trouble. That missile was very fast. He's not diving quick enough. He's still high. Bang, there's our hit. Okay, so how not to fire a missile. So we have one bandit locked up off our nose. Okay, Fox 3 times 2. 1, 2. We've got two missiles off the rails, both Mach 1.5, both 34,000 feet. The first one, if it's going to hit him, the second one's going to hit him. Why do we need two? It's it's absolutely pointless. Bang, bang. Alright, so that's pretty much it as far as the video is concerned. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with firing successive or back to back missiles at multiple bandits, but the the, the there's no real reason to fire two unless it's like a C one thirty or an A ten where it's like it could take a missile or two or something like that. There's no reason. So just keep that in mind. We're not in the habit of wasting missiles. So the Fox 6, which is very popular. A lot of people like firing missiles real quick. You know, Fox 6 and all that. It's, it's just not effective. All right. So with that said, I hope this video helps. I've hopefully, I've shown you that there's nothing wrong with firing back-to-back -back missiles so long as it's at multiple bandits but firing multiple missiles at the same aircraft with this within the same parameters so for example if I fire one at Mach 1.1 and I wait another 10 15 seconds and now I'm at Mach 1 2 or 1 Mach 1.3 okay maybe maybe and that, that's still a bad shot because again that first missile should either hit or the bandit should be defending and if he's going to defend the first missile, he's likely going to be successfully be able to defend the second missile. So, again, hope this helps, and uh, we'll see you for the next video.